Evening. Uh, just got back from work a little while ago. Uh, had a few catastrophes to sort out. The motorbike broke down on the way home from work. Not very far away, thankfully, so I was able to push it back. Don't know what. I think it's a fuel problem. It's very intermittent, but it's becoming less intermittent, which is a worry. Uh, Anyway, and then we got home and our bullocks had somehow broken the gate. Don't know what spooked them. And they were all in the front in the veg patch. But fortunately it doesn't seem like they've done too much damage. They were there looking most guilty. And we've just got them back without doing too much damage. Anyway, amongst all of that hullabaloo, I've had my friendly neighbourhood agricultural contractor in to row up my hay. He was most adamant, like all baler operators are, that they like it in a certain way as we know. So it's a huge baler and it's a bloody great rake. So it's all been raked into a swathe that makes a really yeah it makes it easier to bale really and they will be better bales so i don't begrudge him particularly as uh, i've done much more of it myself this year and we're only a small outfit so it's nice to know that contractors will still come in and fit me in so I let him have his way and let him row it up. Yeah, so it's done a lovely job. The mowing's a little bit raggedy in places. I was probably pushing it a bit, going a bit too quick. So I've pushed the grass over rather than mowed it, but I really don't mind. I don't want it scalped murder tight. You know my philosophy, grass grows grass, Pete Wastonage. But look at this. lovely stuff still plenty nice green color hasn't bleached right out but absolutely lovely and dry yes yeah, rowed up into some quite impressive rows so i'm pleased with that so hopefully the baler will be along in a sec Yeah, is there a better sight than a field of hay in the June sunshine? There probably is, but for an imaginationless yokel like me, it's difficult to imagine something better. The weather has just been exceptional. So I've been absolutely no worry about rain on it at all. Anyway, we'll wait until Callum arrives with the baler. I think I can possibly hear a dirty great tractor. Yeah. There he is. There we go. If I get up there, I'll say hello before he starts. Right, so what are you doing there then? Literally just about to start up now. One. A little bit more sophisticated than our New Holland at work. So you think you'll get caught, everything will be caught up before the weekend, do you think? I see people are still knocking a bit of grass down, aren't they? 
Yeah, there's, there's a lot of grass going down at the moment. Kind of slob. We should be... Well, there'll be no sweat if it's silage, will it? But... No. No, not at all. the same as the old one is they sort of goes nothing 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 then climbs to 100% in yeah. less than no time literally yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got class to myself do you want these chocolate oh no thanks no 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 I I, I find the yeah if, if they are out if you could put them in you want them in do you yeah I don't want it chopped no. I, I have tried with the chopping, but I find they get the, the animals. If you end up, if you're feeding out in a feeder, they waste they waste a hell of a lot. Yeah. Pull too much pulls out. Yeah. Uh, Nice lad, Callum. He did a, an apprenticeship, not from a farming background particularly. And there he is in charge of, well, I always underestimate it, but that has got to be 200,000 pounds worth of kit near enough there. Some boy. There it comes. So that baler would, if you wanted to, when I've had it out for my silage, that baler will wrap the bale all in one go as well. So it pops it all out, all finished and fully wrapped. Because I'm making hay and trying to save a bit of plastic. There we go. Lovely stuff.
There it goes. So when you look at this, this is quite bailing up really well. It's quite, I thought it was quite a heavy crop. That little mower, I mean, little um, baby hay bob did very well out here. What have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bales. And that's the outside two rows. Uh, so yeah, very pleasing. So what he's doing there, he's just holding that look so he doesn't drop it, have to drop it on the slope. Just put it on the back and carry it up to the top and drop it so it won't roll down. Well there, we'll leave Callum to it. It's got to the point where it's uh, sort of drive, bail, repeat. But yes, I'm very pleased with that. It's a bit more to add to the store. Anyway, I'm going to go home and walk back home and think about something to eat. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of Ju early June haymaking with us here. Uh, it's been wonderful weather for it, and therefore not nice and unstressful. If my old machines had packed up, Thomas and the crew could, would have come in and picked up me pieces I'm sure but anyway uh, thanks for watching uh, look forward to your comments as always and uh, see you next time bye